Hey friends, so this video shows how to remove local and track files from your uh, JIT working tray. So in my uh, JIT uh, project, so I want to find and remove all and track files. So if you run JIT status, you can see here and track files. So here you can see untracked files. Two files you can see here demo and test one. We can just remove it like uh, error then file name. So that is a one option. So the option is you can run this command git clean hyphen n enter. So you can see the same files, same files. You can see here and here also again you can uh, remove it like arrow uh, then file name demo file. that way you can remove or you can use this hyphen f option jt clean hyphen f let me run it see it's removed here you can see it's removed it's removed then let me run jt clean hyphen n see it's not listing any files so if you run the status you can see there is no android files so let me create a couple of new files here so after that if I run cheat and you can see uh, two untracked files so now I am going to show you another option instead of gtclean hyphen n you can use i so that is the interactive mode so hyphen n is a driver it will not delete the file but it will show you the files which you can delete and which are untracked if you run gtclean hyphen i so this is the interactive mode so here you can see the options if you type one it will clean we can uh, filter by pattern and uh, you can select by number option four is ask each it will list one by one and you can delete it five quit six l so let me try four type four and enter you can see can we remove demo 2.py if you type y and enter it will remove it's asking can we remove demo 3.py no so now let me run uh, with clean hyphen n you can see now it's showing only one file because demo 2 I have removed let me run uh, the clean hyphen i again if you type 1 and enter it will remove all the all untracked files so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel please like and share the video uh, actually you don't need to use this jt clean uh, command you can just run jt this is very easy you can just run jt status then you can use normal rm command to delete that will also you can